I don't think um, the actions yesterday showed true commitment to governance. I'm afraid it had more to do with politics than governance. Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson calling the actions of three Portland City Council members a political stunt. This after they voted yesterday to move forward with a plan to end a partnership on the homelessness crisis. Today, Vega Peterson said she's disappointed in City Council for wanting to sever the intergovernmental agreement to find solutions to the city's homelessness crisis. K2 Emily Gersh is live after speaking with the county chair and another county commissioner. Emily, they have very different takes on what happened yesterday. What do they tell you? Yeah, right, and Deb. Well, uh, County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson thinks the actions of the city council members were a display of political grandstanding. But County Commissioner Julia Brim Edwards says she's committed to working with the city to resolve their differences, even after this decision. The fact that, you know, this kind of mandate, this kind of, you know, like we're, we're setting this, that happened on the same day that ballots dropped is, is a little too. Um, to more than coincidence in my mind. I think a, re a refusal to, um, to listen to the concerns that were raised or dismiss them as politics is very short-sighted and it actually is not representative of what I heard at the yesterday's city council meeting. Two Multnomah County leaders reacting differently to Portland City Council initiating a breakup of the city and county plan to end homelessness. On Wednesday, three city council members voted to move forward with severing the three-year intergovernmental agreement. The Joint Office of Homeless Services was formed in 2016, but in spite of the partnership, the city of Portland says homelessness has increased by 65 percent from 2015 to 2023. Commissioners Renee Gonzalez, Mingus Maps, and Dan Ryan said the county is not meeting the milestones laid out in the contract. But County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson said that's not true. I think that they're not looking. I mean, frankly, like we have been so um, proactive in communication about the work that's happening. I'm Commissioner Julia Brim Edwards, on the other hand, agreed with some of the points the council members made. This specific agreement does not commit the city and county to specific outcomes and improvements in the net re number of individuals living on our streets without access to shelter or housing. The contract between the city and county, which was renewed in July, is costing city taxpayers $31 million. If part of this stepping away is taking away that money, that means we're going to be losing over 650 shelter beds um, in our adult system and trying to find a way to pay for that. Bram Edwards took yesterday's meeting as the city signifying to the county they need to see more progress, and she said she's up for that challenge. We need to stop the name calling and gaslighting and our community expects us to work together to solve our problems, and that's what we should be doing. The three city commissioners did not provide an alternative plan, and if the council votes to dissolve the contract, it would have to give the county 90 days notice of termination. We're live in Southeast Portland tonight. Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you for that.